Good morning, people, and welcome to Stinky's Art Class, where we have the best students in the world. Today's lesson is how to draw ice. Okay, this is going to be a great one, okay? So, um, Stinky was having a hard time for this one for a while, but then Stinky just, you know, decided to believe in himself and go ahead and do it. And then I come up with an idea. Uh, this one might put me in the museum, so we'll see. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to, when you're drawing ice, you want to go ahead and draw the cup, okay? Now, this one's going to have some ice cubes in it, okay? Now, look at this. She's thinking making this ice cube. Pretty good. I'd say pretty good so far. Okay, and uh, Stinky going to have to... See that? Look at that. Makes it look like it's 3D. Okay, next thing you think he's going to do is going to do another ice cube. This one kind of melted a little bit. Okay, it's kind of melting a little bit. Okay, now you think he's going to do another ice cube. This one's, this one's not melting as much. You got to kind of draw it kind of, when you draw ice cubes, you got to kind of draw it like this. Kind of squiggle your pencil or marker. You got a marker. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to make this glass. See, it's it's a it's a clear glass. But see what you gotta do is you gotta do this. You gotta have perspective. See? See how that makes it look like a real glass? Okay, now you wanna do the top. Okay. Now stinky go on stinky likes the lemon. So Stinky going to put a lemon on there. Anybody else like the lemons? And to do this lemon, you got to do it like that. And you got to do it like this. And there's a seed in there. I'm going to put two seeds. I'll let the museum people figure out why there's two seeds. Okay. And then... Uh, Think he's gonna put the water in there. Think he got a full cup of water today. Now let me ask you this: What happened if Think he did this halfway full or half empty? That would give the museum people a lot of things to think about. Is this cup half full or half empty? That's the type of things that get you in the museums. Okay, if you if you plan out your art with a purpose. Then, then people are going to be wondering about that. Okay? So, okay. This is looking pretty good. This ice is pretty good. Now, we, what we want to do is we want to draw a little bubble. So people know that ice is falling. Okay? You see that? That's looking pretty good. Like some pretty good ice. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more texture on this one. And a little bit more on this one. Some people be thinking they don't have the skills to draw some ice. Well, guess what? I believe in you. I believe in all my students. I know they can do it. If Stinky can do this on cardboard, then my students can, you know, create masterpieces. Because that's what I'm depending on. I'm depending on my students to... You know, get in, a, get in a museum. You know, that way they can go buy a Lambo and take me for a ride. You know, Stinky, Stinky wants to get a ride from one of his students. Okay? Now, this is another thing that's going to drive the museum art lovers nuts. Is Why is this glass sitting so close to the end of the table? What's going on here? Isn't that going to fall off? Someone bumps that table, it's going to fall off? Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of deep meaning behind that, but I'm gonna let those art lovers in the museum figure that one out. So I hope you students enjoyed the lesson today. You're the best students in the world, and um, there's a lot to unpack in this lesson. Um, so if you're my students, thanks for attending class today. And if you're not one of my students but you'd like to join my class, I'm on TikTok. YouTube, but I need a thousand followers to get that money. 
I'm on Instagram, but nobody knows me. I'm on OpenSea and I'm on Twitter, but I'm banned on Twitter because I started an art revolution. So um, thanks for joining my class today. Hope you have a great day and stay tuned for another epic lesson from Stinky's Art Class.